kids, really all of us, are drawn to image and, and drawn to, to pictures. But uh, I wanted something very specific. Actually, before I knew what I wanted, I knew what I didn't want. I didn't want uh, a Disneyfication of the Bible. And I didn't want pictures that were trying to look realistic so that kids would be confused about, well, is this what Jesus really looks like? And now I have a picture in my mind all the time of Jesus. Uh, th there's dangers and troubles with that. So wanted colors, wanted some realism, but also enough uh, vibrancy and something a little off of just a, a, a deliberate attempt to try to depict, oh, here's what it really looked like. I, and Don Clark does all of those things so well. So the, the illustrations themselves are giving something of an interpretation. Uh, deliberately, I wrote the chapters first so Don could see where I was going with the story, what the, the themes and lessons were going to be, and then sort of draw the illustrations around that. But as they go together, I hope that the illustrations help in scary stories to look sort of scary. Some people have said, oh, some of these are kind of graphic. Well, the Bible is kind of graphic. It's still a children's book, but the Bible has some scary stories. So those illustrations ought to present a kind of mood and there's an edginess and there's villains here and there's danger because that's the Bible. And then other illustrations are going to provoke a, a, a sense of calm and peace and rest and, and heavenly wonder. And I think Don has done such a good job. So it's not that every illustration, oh, what does that particular thing mean? But the total package is giving to each of those stories a kind of mood, a kind of feel to help us understand what that story is about and what it means and, and what what we feel as we read through each story and learn what God wants to teach us.